Hey guys and welcome back. So this is going to be part two of my LA fashion district in Santee Alley. <laughs> I'm about to say Santee Beach or whatever. Santee Alley review. So there's a few things that I learned today that I wanted to share with you guys that I think is truly, truly beneficial. Number one, there's plenty of places to park, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys the lowdown or the address of where I parked and it's $10 if you go during the week. I'm not sure what it is if you go during the weekday, I mean on the weekend. And then also by the time I left, the parking was reduced down to about $7 for all day parking. I got there this morning at about 7.30, 8-ish. So um, by the time I left, it was two and the parking was reduced. So that's a footnote. Um, it is super not crowded, uh, super non-stressful if you go during the weekday. So I would highly suggest that. As I was leaving and it got towards the afternoon, it was a little bit more packed. But by the time between, uh, I want to say like nine and one, it was pretty much easy breezy walk in it was like really nobody in the shops um so a few things that i want you guys to know and i wrote notes so that um i would know you guys have to have a sellers permit or a business license or business paperwork or a business card to be able to shop wholesale Number two, there is a few vendors that didn't suit my fancy. Their minimums were over $100 um, and they were just rude. So you guys have to be mindful of that. Um, kind of do your research on what vendors you are looking for. I was looking for specific merchandise. So um, I knew right off the bat where I wanted to go, but I also did buy some personal stuff um, that I was able to shop with. Um... Also, when you're shopping, um, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of um, representatives that will be in these businesses that may not be helpful, that may be rude, and may, um, you know, force you to, you know, like second guess why you're there. Um, but when I walk into a vendor, I want to know, number one, what's your minimum? Um, let's say it's $100. So, you know, before you walk out of there, you have to have $100 worth of merchandise. And then two, it's, you need to clarify if it, you can mix and match it. So if you're in an accessory shop, $100, you can spend easily accessories, sunglasses, hats, things like that. Um, and then also you want to verify if it's a single item, so a single earring or a single pack of earrings and that so if you know if you're trying to sell 10 of them you're gonna have to buy 10 different individual items um another thing to note is that um some vendors actually walk around with you so you'll walk into these vendors um and again they're gonna be walking around with you they're literally got, gonna be on your back so um for, for fortunately for me i knew exactly what i was looking for so you being behind me looking over my shoulder and things like that nature didn't hurt my feelings but for you guys um if you want to stay clear of those vendors you can inbox me and i'll tell you which ones i experienced some of those items for um also some of the vendors as well only do sizes small medium large and they three they do the system of three two one so three small two medium one large for me i'm probably a, like a medium a large and some of my followers are the same so if you guys are buying in bulk you need to kind of verify you know that system um, but other than that, uh, it was a really awesome experience. I went to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, probably about 15 vendors. And out of the 15, probably five or 10 are like really awesome. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So hopefully I may have to come back to you guys in just a few minutes so I can tilt the light <laughs> because it is blinding me and I cannot see. So <laughs> anywho, I'm back. So a few things that I wanted to show you guys was I shot for myself. And so the first thing first is I got a jacket. And it is like a velvet with some print on it. It's super cute. It's a size medium. I like my things kind of oversized. Um, so I'll show you guys what this looks like. I could have got a small, to be honest. But look how cute, right? I like things that are like super, super detailed and kind of funky. So, yeah. 
I look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't mind me in this video. I'm going to be a little bit silly for you guys today. Um, I have been up since about 6 and right now it's about 4 o'clock and I haven't eaten uh, uh, outside of breakfast. So I'm going to need y'all. So that's item number one. And I think I got this for like 4 or $5. And that I didn't have to buy a set because it was... Um, it was from the Santee, uh, Santee Alley. The next one I got, because they're coming back, is a, let me use this, a sandal in a neon pink. I think these were like four, 12 or so dollars, but they're super cute. I'm not going to show you guys my feet because I need a pedicure. Okay. So that was item number two. I'm really into this velvety look, you guys. So this is going to be item number three that I got for myself. It is like a Shaw-ish. Shaw-ish. And this came in a small medium. I think it's really cute. I'm going to pair it probably with some jeans. I like everything oversized. So... You could use this if you wanted to as a robe. I don't think you should. I think you should actually like jazz it up and kind of enjoy your life, right? So this was good find. And I think, again, this was $5. It was out of one of the vendors' um, sample cell rack. Another one was this cardigan here. Super cute, super comfy. And this was in a size large. I'll get some better footage of this stuff for you guys a little later once I actually wear it. But, yeah. So, apparel-wise, I think that's all I got. But I actually want to show you guys some other things. Oh, I actually got some jeans. So these were super, super cute. They have amazing detail and some cool features. I will not try these on, but I will try them on later and kind of give you an update on them. Or if you're following me on Instagram, you can go see it then. What else? So all of the vendors, um, that I went to today, I do have their business card, so I will be posting their information up pretty soon. Now to the good stuff. So just a few more pieces. Give me one second. Just, whew. I'm gonna adjust. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. But, so here are my new accessories guys i'm super excited about these so first things first is how cute is this coin purse now i want to separate my coins now because look at this it's the little things right oh my gosh they had these in like four or five different colors so i got that I want to show you guys what else I got. I'm trying to reorganize my keys. So I got a new keychain tassel. I don't know. Oh, you guys cannot see that. The light is bright. But it says love, hope, and faith. So that's really, really cute. I really love that. So two more items, guys, and we're we're done. Anywho, I had a, an amazing experience today. It was super cool. Um, and then these are the earrings. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Really dainty, really cute, really like just um, sample earrings. Well, not really sample earrings, but just earrings that you can wear out, you know, just throw and go type of things. I'm really looking for more dainty items. There are some items that I unfortunately couldn't get today. Um... 
but let me show you my new necklace. So I got a necklace. And it's so cute. It's the Virgo, the Virgo sign. So cute. So again, the recap for today was just do your research on your vendors that you want to shop at during the your trip to the LA Fashion District. In addition to um, not being charged any additional fees, please bring cash. Um, they, some vendors do accept card, but they do charge you a processing fee. Um, and then also make sure you guys have your seller's permit, business card, and or business documents. I literally brought everything. I bought my seller's permit. I brought my um, business license, a copy of my business paperwork, um, and my ID, of course. Um, so the last and final item that I'm going to show you is the sunglasses that I purchased today. So I'm super excited for you guys to see this. Um, I did actually wear a pair of these on my Insta story. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please do so. What I am going to show you is the sunglasses. So they come in a few, a wide range of colors actually. I got 12 pair, and these are the black ones. I'm gonna show you guys, they're so cute. I'm sorry, I'm trying to unravel them. So, if you guys can see that, frames. frames they're so cute i love these they're amazing so um these i will be releasing first on my website so some of you uh are hearing this news for the first time they do also have a white pair a tour i also have a white pair a tortoise pair and a black pair the black pair i also i did go ahead and take out of the pack um and i again those are my on my insta story i'll show you guys the white ones Oh, how I look. That look good. I like these. These are super cute. So they are very sturdy. Um, and like I said, I took out a pair already to wear for the day. Um, just so I can get a feel on the quality for you guys. Um, and the, you know, texture, how they were going to wear and tear. Um, so far, so good. They are clear as day. So you know how some glasses kind of have this poly foam on, um, on them and you can't see through them these are not those you can see clearly um no residue no issues there so so far so good um so again that wraps up our day at the fashion market i had uh, the most amazing time uh it was truly amazing experience for myself um i got to meet some really cool amazing vendors some with some very very unique uh, pieces i had never seen before and some pieces i was just like why would you sell this but there's a market there's a consumer that wants to buy it so there's a wide variety of things that you guys can search for if you're interested uh the world is your oyster as they say the part three of this video will actually be the flower market because i'm super interested in going to the flower market and yeah that's it so next part three will be the flower market i was trying to do some thinking really quick in my head um about what i may want oh textiles so i may just do textile shopping just because i am interested in making maybe some like um rugs for my house or some drapes or something of that sort if i do that video and it's not promised but if i do that video i will shoot it for you guys and give you an update so part three of this three-part series <laughs> would be the LA Fashion District so hopefully I'm able to film that before the end of the month um, I'm gonna try to get another day off to go down there and check it out for you guys so I hope that you found this video helpful and I do apologize if I'm rambling I'm trying to uh, create this video while everything is fresh on my brain um, again I did get um, 
business cards from all of the vendors so if you guys are interested in anything that you guys saw on the video and or um you're interested in the vendor information let me know um until then we'll holler at you guys thank you so much for subscribing thank you for much for liking <laughs> i cannot get my words out today so i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video i appreciate all of you guys the support um so more to come and i hope that you guys stay tuned for what's coming next